news tonight. Going viral. I didn't think it would just blow up like this. Video of a man base jumping off the high level bridge quickly garners attention on YouTube. Real estate shift. We'll tell you why more and more young Canadians are buying into the country's housing market. And Research in Motion goes all in. If BlackBerry 10 does not launch successfully, then everything else becomes moot. Can a Canadian tech giant's latest release win back customers in the ever-evolving world of smartphones? Now, from Global Leverage, News Final with Tom Rolston. Good evening. It's one of this city's most iconic structures and over the weekend played stage to a video production that's quickly gaining notoriety on YouTube. The video shows a man base jumping off the high level bridge and the posting has already become the talk of town. With some in support of the jump while others question the legalities or whether the video is even legitimate. Mike McKinnon has our top story. It looks like a thrill seeker's dream. A base jump off Lethbridge's iconic high-level train bridge. And this YouTube video posted over the weekend shows exactly that. Curtis Huseman was the man behind the camera and says the production was no hoax. I love that people think it's fake. That, to me, shows me that I did such a good job that people don't think someone in Lethbridge could actually do that. That this video is not fake. You can see him taking off his harness. But they did, and there's raw video to prove it. There's also proof in criminal charges. 25-year-old John Corthius is facing a count of entering on land without permission, as the bridge is private property of CP Rail. More importantly, police are worried about safety. We're concerned that the notoriety this video seems to be generating could potentially lead uh, to copycats. And the last thing we want to have to do is go and knock on someone's door and tell them that their loved one has been killed uh, or injured as a result of this kind of stunt. But those behind the video aren't trying to encourage other daredevils. They say the jumper didn't mean for this attention to arise and only wanted to inspire people to follow their dreams, not break the law. Much of the online reception has been positive. The video has only been up for a few days, but already has thousands of views, something the producer never expected. I knew the video was going to be cool, and I knew it's something that I always wanted to do, and I was super stoked on it. I knew it was like kind of like the next level thing that we haven't quite gotten yet, but I didn't think it would just blow up like this. For the record, it was a safe landing, but one unlikely to be seen again. Honestly, now I still watch it and I can't even really believe I shot it or that it actually happened. Mike McKinnon, Global News. Police do want to make it clear to the public that the actions depicted in the video are illegal and unsafe. A Fort McLeod man is